All right, sixth grade, we're here with chapter 33, the second to last chapter of Treasure Island. I hope all of you had a great Memorial Day. But moving on past that, we've got the fall of the chieftain, which is chapter 33. And you may be asking yourself, Mr. Antonetti, what's a chieftain? Well, if you're familiar with the idea of a chief, it's someone who's in charge. So the fall of a chieftain, someone stops being in charge is basically how it goes here. And who's been in charge of the pirates? Long John Silver. And when we last left Chapter 32, they had dug the treasure and discovered it's already been dug up. And the jig is up and things look bad for Long John. We know who dug up the treasure. We know Ben Gunn's had it for a while. But the pirates didn't. Uh, so Long John hands Jim a double-barreled pistol. So double-barreled meaning there's two tubes. Because remember, the way guns are fed, they only hold one bullet. So he's got two shots. Um, and the pirates are getting up there and... George Mary's getting ready. He's like, look, they've led us astray. There's only that little cub who I wanted to kill earlier, referencing Jim, and a cripple. We can take him. And at that point, gunshots ring out in the excavation. Then, you know, George falls over dead. Long John takes the opportunity to shoot him himself. And then they start running. And there's the doctor, Abraham Gray, and Ben Gunn coming to the rescue. And they run. They're running from the pirates. They're making their way to the boats first. Of course, they have the advantage, and the pirates are panicked by having been shot uh, up some. They get to the boats, they break down one of them, and take the other one back around the other side to the Hispaniola, where the squire is guarding everything. Long John says, well, it's a good thing I had Jim here. You would have let me get cut to bits by those pirates, Doctor, wouldn't you? I mean, you wouldn't do that. The Doctor's like, no, I would have let you die without a second thought, Long John Silver, you yellow-bellied traitor. And when they returned there... The squire is keeping watch, and, you know, Long John tries to salute him, and the squire's like, I've been told I'm not supposed to prosecute you when you get back, but it's a dereliction of my duty, and I hate to see your face. And he basically calls Long John out. Everyone makes it clear how much they dislike Long John, and there are three pirates left living. And Jim looks upon the treasure that's there in Ben Gunn's cave and thinks about the 17 people who have died on this voyage to get it, and how, you know, it's really not worth it. Um, and all the people who... Captain Flint and his crew had to have killed beforehand. So that would be Ben Gunn, Long John, and Tom Morgan, as far as those still living members of Flint's crew. But they have the treasure, they have the boats, and they have the means to go home. Now the question is, what becomes of Long John? What becomes of the three remaining pirates? And what becomes of the treasure? That's all that's going to be covered in chapter 34 and last. And so, sixth grade, I leave you with your, ask you what you think the answers to those questions are i ask you to leave those in the comments and i will see you in the next one take care